Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you today and I'm sharing my first project for the January 2023 Kidaholic Kits. Now this month and hopefully for the rest of this year, I'm trying to include some stash items with my kits. So, you know, as the years go on, us scrappers, we tend to collect a few bits and pieces all over the place. So I want to actually start to use up some of my stash. It's uh, easy to collect a whole lot of stuff and sometimes a bit difficult to actually use that stuff. So what I'm including with this month's kit is actually my distress crayons. Now when these first came out I was really really super happy with them and I use them all the time. Now I don't tend to use them so much and that's just because I have new products to play with but I'm trying to get back into using those things in my stash. So the focus this month is on distress crayons. Now what you can see here is I'm starting with sort of this um, three pattern paper background and this is what I had in my mind but I wasn't quite sure how it was going to come together and how I was going to get a photo on there. So I sort of have a bit of a play around and you'll see that as this project evolves it changes and um, you know all I knew was that I wanted to have the three stripes of paper in the background and I wanted to use lots of florals. Florals for me can be a bit of a challenge because I do mostly scrap my boys and there's nothing to say you can't use uh, florals on a boy layout but um, you know it's not something I sort of do a lot of and so I had this photo from a recent race day and I thought that the colors in the photo um, would actually match really well with the pattern papers and the floral elements as well. So you can see that in the background I have actually changed um, that um, uh, pattern paper. So the black was just way too harsh. It was just sticking out um, and, and it wasn't working for me. So I had to do something to actually get that to um, fit a little bit better with how this layout was evolving. So I've cut a um, nine by um, 11 piece of cardstock down into a square. So I think it's like a nine by nine square and I'm going to put that on my background just to help elevate that a little bit. And now at this point, um, I want to try and find a pink that matches um, the pink pattern in the background. And here's how I'm going to use my distress crayons. So with the distress crayons, if you have these in your stash, you can use them wet or dry. So in this case, I'm using them dry. Now you only have a certain amount of time to actually um, attach, uh, sorry, to actually move the color around. So once you put it um, onto the cardstock, you can smudge it with your finger dry straight away. If you leave it for a little while, it does actually set in that way. So you don't want to leave it for too long. You want to have your, your water ready or your spray ready or, you know, smudge it with your finger, whatever you're going to do with it. Cause you only have a little bit of time before it sort of settles into the paper and you can't move it around. If you're putting gesso on your background, you get a little bit longer, but in this case, all I wanted to do was create that pink border. Um, so I've used some white cardstock, smudged my um, distress crayon and used that around the outside of um, that white cardstock. So I have also included um, some um, stickers on this um, from the sticker sheet. Uh, you can see that I sort of had the idea to start with this photo cluster off to the right hand side, but it ends up being central. And of course I've used the best friend title because it's myself and my bestie at the races. All right, well, I'm going to add a couple of little enamel dots, but essentially I'm calling this layout done. I really love how this one came together with that triple background paper and that gorgeous cluster of florals. So that's my first layout share. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, check out Kidaholic Kits.